Pepper is a pop one, female pop one with hornbill. Well, these birds can be found in Asia. When females want to nest, they will look for cavities or holes in trees. If you look up at that hut, you can see a nest box. Well, that nest box is similar to the nest boxes that we give our hornbills right here in the bird park. I'll be walking very close to you up these stairs. I need your cooperation. Please remain seated. When the bird is flying, do not stretch out your arm. Try to touch the bird. This is for your safety and safety of this bird. And when the bird is flying very low, just above some of your heads, if you look up, don't open your mouth. <laughs> oh, Papa. Oh, Chuosia. CSA name. Okay, Pepper, your yeah, next box is still going just right. Let's check that out. Oh, she's still checking the surrounding of the nest. It is safe to fly over there. She goes. Yeah. What she's going to do next is she's going to inspect the interior of the nest. If she likes it, she will hop right in. Pepper, in she goes. Once inside, the female will seal the nest using regurgitated food, soil, and even their own droppings to make the entrance of the nest smaller, just enough for their beak to stick out. Pepper, if you like a nest box, can you seal it now? <laughs> Pepper, are you still in there? There she is. With that, let's welcome Alfred, everyone. Look up there, a great white on me. There she comes. Oh. Even though these two birds are from two different species of hornbills, but their nesting behaviors in the wild are very similar. The right in the bird park, we are very successful in building oriental white hornbills using nest boxes like this. And thanks to your contribution for our conservation fund, we have released some of these birds back into nature reserves in Singapore and also right here in the bird park. So if you're walking around the park, keep your eyes open. If you're lucky enough, you get to see some of these birds reply. Well, there he goes up there. Well, there are 54 species of hornbills in the world and they can only be found in two, sorry, in two continents, Africa and Asia. The cocoa toucans that you saw earlier, which looks like hornbills, they can only be found in the continents of South America. Well, Alfred, time for you to go back home. Would you like to spread your wings and come down here to me? Well, these Hornbills are the only flying birds with eyelashes. The other species of birds with eyelashes are the flightless birds, the ostriches. Well, Alfred, time for you to go back home. Here he comes. He makes his points. I think you know where my home is. Home is that way. Alfred? Oh. Okay, home is that way. Off you go. That he goes. Alfred, everyone. Well, nice music, isn't it? Now comes the time to simply enjoy the bird's flight. If you'd like to volunteer, raise your hands. Get the trainers' attention who are coming out right now. On my right, we have Afika. In the middle, we have Chanel. And on my left, we have Shawa. Look at their strong wings as they fly. Go to jail, Baba. This hub that branches the trees. You want? You want? But I'm going to get their wild friends to lose Most. their homes. And we're going to have to work with them. Into human development. We can do that by simply using less of everything. In fact, it's even better if we can all reuse our things. Buy second-hand or recycled products. This will certainly reduce it. Make new products and very involved of these birds having them. But it looks like all the volunteers are ready. Off goes Patina. Where's your home? Oh, oh, oh. There you go, beautiful fly there by Katina and Vega, Vega. everyone. Yeah. With powerful wing flaps, long tail and sharp eyesight, this allows them to be more <laughs> agile and maneuverable in flight. Next, these two birds are going to fly from two different ends of the stage and will try to cross each other's flight path in that center hook. This is going to be easy. For those of you who are not holding on to the hoops, please remain seated. Thank you very much. Patina ready? Ready, go. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Patina and Sheena. But finally, we're going to try something more challenging. 
Uh, Chanel, I need the red book for Vegas last flight. You got a yellow bag. What is in that yellow bag? Everyone, look. Wow. Ah, smaller. Are you sure Vegas can fly through that book? She is sure because McCall's have streamlined bodies and this allows them to fly to dense vegetation in the rainforest of South America to escape from potential dangers and predators. Well, Volunteers get me ready. For those of you who are not holding on to the hoops once more, please remain seated. Thank you very much. Tina ready? Vegas ready? Everyone, silence please. Off we go. Yes! Oh. Oh. No hesitation at all. A round of applause for Vega, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Well, a parrot's beak can be very powerful in breaking hard nuts, but when required, they can be very gentle as well. To demonstrate this, I need a volunteer who is not afraid for birds. Yes, young lady, very fast. The one in special. Can you stand up on your bench? Thank you. You are not afraid of birds, right? Really? Yes. Okay, what do you have to do is just stretch out your left arm. Left arm. You. Open your mouth facing skywards. Okay, a bird will fly up to you. Place this coupon on your palm. What you have to do is just grab hold of it. Okay? Ready? It's fine. Let's welcome Sassy. Sassy, yes, sir. Sassy, young lady in pink. See her? Great. Can you pass this coupon to her? Here you go. Don't move, young lady. Place the coupon down, Sassy. Grab hold of the coupon, young lady. And you fly back down to me. Can you check that coupon? Whether it's still in one piece, if it is, you're entitled to a free cold drink. I'm at the terrace class, a couple of minutes walk away from here. Who's wow. every year? Thank you very much. One more volunteer. <laughs> wow, one more hands now. But listen, this time nothing to give away. <laughs> this time I need a volunteer who can show me money. Because <laughs> I say money, a lot of hands go down. A two Singapore dollar note will do. No one brought money to the park. The first one to show me the money will do this. How much is that? Two dollars. Great. Can you stand on your bench? This is going to be fun. Can you pull the money into half? Yes, into another half. Open. Yes. Stay where you are. You're not afraid of birds, right? Great. Look up. You've got money. Oh. Ready? <laughs> Just put up your hands. Don't worry about that. Sexy. You got money, what do you do when you see money session? Don't move! Come on down, session. Don't move, young lady. Sit where, look where your money goes. You can keep on laughing and sit down. What more volunteer? This time, ten dollars. I'm just kidding. We're not gonna, we're not gonna take any more money. We're gonna return the money back to you and then throw away your job while I'm but if you'd like to help the animals right here in Singapore, do come down at the end of the show and drop in any amount into a conservation fund in this box right here. And in return, Sassy's postcard is yours. A very popular bird right here in the bird park. So you can do that after the show. Yes, ma'am. Can you stand once more again? We're going to return the money back to you. Thank you very much. This time, open your palm. Yeah, you can stand up on your back. Thank you very much. Open your palm, facing skywards. Sassy will place the money. On your palm, what you have to do is just grab all of the money. Okay? If not, she's coming back. Sassy, we need to return the money. Lady. See that? All you do? All together. Place the money down, Sassy. And you fly back down to me. Sassy, you've done very well. A round of applause for our generous volunteer right now, man. Well, Sassy has done very well. It's time for her to go back home. Back to Sabrina. Thank you, Sassy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in a very short moment, we are going to have our grand finale, so do not go just yet. I am sure the birds in the show have amazed you and maybe even made you laugh. But please, do not forget all the bird conservation champions that you have met today. We can help them by purchasing paper or wood made from recycled materials so that less of their forest homes will be dead. Now, you and I, we have the power to choose what part. So let's make the right choice and make a difference today. Well, it looks like we are all set to go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the grand finale, we will bring out lots of birds right here on stage. So let's get started. First pair from Africa, Great White Pelicans. Oh, no. 
Yeah. Next from India, Sportville Pelicans. Here they come. From Eastern Europe, we have Dalmatian Pelicans. All five of them. Come on, guys. Back to Africa, but with their long, sexy legs. Let's welcome our greater flamingos. And last but not least, the colorful McCord from South America coming from up there and there. And in a very short moment, we are going to show all these birds back home and we are going to have a photography session with another group of flamingos happening right here on stage. So if you are interested, do stay on for that. For those of you who like to bring back fond memories of the birds in the show, you may do so in the form of flash story. Only here at Pools and Peter going at special rate, do check that out later on. And last but not least, on behalf of our sponsor, the Singapore Press Holdings Foundation, do have a great day in the bird farm and peace. Take a look around you. Bring your belongings with you when you leave. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank you.